He made a man. The Bible didn't tell us what color he made. The Bible didn't talk about any color. God made a man. So we are all creatures. So irrespective of how we are right now, irrespective of the, 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 the skin color, irrespective of how we look, we are all one in God. Whoever you be, black or white, yeah. All of this are so. beautiful people hello to every person right now who's watching me um if you are stopping by for the for the very first time you're welcome to my channel my name is claire and um i am on this platform to motivate people with the word of god to encourage you with the word of god and um you are highly welcome today i'm not going to talk too much because um, I am here to discuss something that has been bugging me for some weeks now, for some time now, based on the things that have been happening all around the globe. Um, you know, it's like we just went through the period of the virus thing and I was expecting that, you know, that would change a whole lot of people. I was expecting that that would have been the best time for people to reflect on so many things and come out you know better people i was expecting that that was going to make some people to retrace their steps and begin to um you know do the right things but it's like at the end of the day it, things are just getting worse so i am really really um sad about the things that are going on right now all around the globe a whole lot of things are going on which ought not to be you know just after we, we went through a crisis and we just came out of it and it's like a whole lot of things are getting out of hand and it's really sad um for us to be hearing these things you know for those of us who have children we know what it is like so it's really horrible for um us to you know see our children growing up you know um in, in in a world like this you know you can imagine how heartbreaking it is for these children to be hearing all those things that are going on all around the globe or seeing these things on, on, on the social media or seeing all those things on, on the internet you know it's really really devastating for you to know that your child is going to grow up watching these things or hearing these things you know going on all around the globe which is not right because there's no way that these things aren't gonna affect our kids negatively so but but thank god for um godly children thank god for parents who are godly who are going to raise their children up telling them not to walk by sight but by faith not to walk by what they see but walk you know um, according to the principles of God and according to the word of God. So today, before I go into what I have to say, you know, um, I have some fruits before me here um, because I want to show some practical examples of what I want to say based on the things that are happening today in our society and in our world. So um, I am a little bit tired. So I look tired, but it's okay. And you just try to get the message behind what I am trying to say here. So um, I just came in actually, but I said I was going to do this video because for some time now, um, I've been pondering, you know, so much on what is going on in our world today and to think, you know, that we just got out of uh, a crisis and these things are happening, you know, it's like, one happened yesterday tomorrow another one is happening next tomorrow another one is happening i mean it's really really wrong so we just have to say something about it if you look at most of my videos you know that i did when i just started this channel i've been the type who has been talking about things that ought not to be you know i speak out when i see things going wrong um and as long as those things don't align with the word of god and um, for me, as a Christian, it doesn't go down well. I talk about it and I always say it doesn't matter who's going to hate on me because I said the truth. So, um, like I said, I have some fruits here. 
um, I'm going to be very snappy. I'll try. But if we have to go into scriptures, then maybe it might just take some time. But please, please bear with me. Watch this video till the end. If possible, you can share it with your friends and your loved ones. Please do me a favor. Share this video. You know, love always wins. And we can make a better world with love. So, um, I have here some bell peppers. I have um, some grapefruits. I have the red one and I have the green one and I have some apples that's the green apple the red apple and then we have some bananas so I'll start with the um, bell peppers um, we have the yellow one and then the orange one and then the red one are they not all bell peppers sure they are they are all bell peppers um, is it right for the yellow one to say to the red one we are not the same or to the orange one we are not the same just because you look different as in we define color is that necessary no it's not why because they serve the same purpose and they serve the same function when we use them in the kitchen we use them for the same purpose we use them for you know for, for the same function so they are all the same irrespective of their colors so it doesn't make any difference so likewise the grapefruits if you if you look at this one there's the green one the, the red or the darker one the green one cannot say to the red one because you are not like me you are not green like me because of that you know we are not the same we don't belong together or we shouldn't have anything to do with each other and because of, of that the green one will start hating on the red one they are all the same they are all grapefruits or are they not the same or are they not grapefruits they are all grapefruits likewise the apples the green one cannot say to the red apple we don't look alike or we have nothing in common or we don't uh, belong you know to one another we are not the same species you know or the same breed just because they differ in color are they not all apples is the same seed that is in this one that is in this one the taste are like the only difference is how they look outwardly so likewise the banana you know if you look at these two bananas you know one if you look at this one this one is not brownish you know if you look at it, it looks good it's, it looks plain and okay while this one looks a little bit brownish and on the darker side you know if you leave it till tomorrow it will be all brown or it will be dark so i'm going to use that as an example are they not all bananas they are all bananas inside if you peel them off are they not the same i'm going to peel peel them you know let me just try peeling peeling one so if you look at it is it not the same even though it's brownish let me peel this one too. is there any difference they are all the same they are both bananas or is there any difference the only difference was the peels you know this one looks clean this one looks good and the other one looks a little bit you know on on the darker side it's getting brown you know so are they not the same bananas will this one say because you are you, you you have some brownish colors on you we are not the same no so why do we hate on each other why would anyone go ahead to say because you are not like me because um we don't look alike you know based on our color you know talking about racism and colorism or discrimination you know this thing of discriminating because you are not red so we don't belong we are not of the same species we are not of the same breed or because you are orange we are not the same because because you are yellow and i'm orange we are not the same but we are all the same species of bell pepper likewise then the uh, um the, the grapefruits sorry i just spoke dutch there so um likewise the grapefruits does it make sense for one to say because you know i am green and you are on, on the darker side so we are not the same the bible makes us to understand in the book of genesis chapter one us make man in our image that's to show you that god is not an author of confusion 
And likewise, God is a God of love. In other words, we are all one in, in God. We are all creatures of the living God. God didn't make a light-skinned man and a, a, um, a brown-skinned man or dark-skinned man. He made a man. He made a man. The Bible didn't tell us what color he made. The Bible didn't talk about any color. God made a man. So we are all creatures. So irrespective of how we are right now, irrespective of the, 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 the skin color, irrespective of how we look, we are all one in God, irrespective of the shape. If you, if you look at the, the bell pepper, one is, look at this one. This one is smaller than this. This one is, is bigger. You know, but they are all the same. So we are all one in God. We are all creatures of God. So why do we hate on ourselves? Why do we discriminate? Why is there colorism? Why is there discrimination? Why the killings? Why the murder? Why are all this evil going on all around the globe? I know that the devil is walking tirelessly to cause confusion because the Bible says he is an author of confusion and he came to steal, to kill and do what and to destroy. So he is the one causing the confusion. He is the one sowing the seed of discord into the hearts of men to know that, okay, I am green and you are red. But so because you are, uh, you are red and I am green, we are not the same apples. But apples are apples. It doesn't matter the color in which they, in which color they come, in which form they come. They are all apples. Likewise, the grapes. Like likewise, the bell pepper. They are all one. So that is how we are all one in Christ Jesus. So why? That's how we are all one in God. Why would I say because you know you you are not like me, or because you know we we, we don't serve same God because of that? I I I need to cut. Your life short. Those are evil things that the devil has sown into the hearts of men to go ahead to say, you know, mother, this person, just because this person is not like me, this person does not have the same belief uh, like me, this person does not have, you know, we are not of the same religion, we are not, you know, of the same race, we, we, we don't belong to, to one another. So let me and his or her life. The other day I was watching George Floyd being killed, being murdered. And all I could see was the devil at work. Believe me, all I was seeing was the devil because the Bible says he came to steal, to kill and to destroy. You know, a lot of people were just seeing the man committing the crime. But there is something behind that because if you look at the way that was done, there was no remorse. There was no remorse. That to show you the devil is working so hard. Because if we love one another, then we will not take anybody's life. If you love me for who I am, if I love you for who you are, we will not think about, you know, taking the life of one another. We will live in harmony. We will live in unity. So that is what it is. It's so sad, you know, hearing the things that are going on all around the globe today. You know, seeing the mother, seeing the, 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 the killing, seeing the racism, seeing the discrimination, seeing all the hate going on all, all around the world. So, um, I'll quickly want us to go to, to the Bible. I want us to clear it from the book of Genesis. Let's see what uh, the book of Genesis says from chapter, uh, Genesis chapter 6 from verse 5, actually. So, let's see what it says, Genesis Six from verse five, Genesis six from verse five. It says, And then the Lord, that was the time during the time of Noah when God destroyed the world because of the atrocities that was being committed then in the world. He says, And the Lord saw how great the wickedness of the human race had become on the earth. And that every inclination of the thoughts of the human heart was only evil all the time. It says the inclination of the thoughts of the human heart. Because all these evil thoughts, they come from where? From the heart. It says that God saw that the heart of man was what? Evil all the time. Is it not the same thing we are seeing today? What about the rapes? Rape cases. 
What about men murdering their wives? What about young men murdering their girlfriends? What about young men abusing their, their, their friends, their so-called girlfriends? What about domestic violence? What about the, the, the abuse you know, going on all around the globe? What about the domestic violence going on all around the globe? The gender problem, the gender issue. I am more superior because I'm a male and you are a female. Because of that, you treat her like trash. Because of that, you you, you think she she has no regards, you know, you, you have no regards for her or you think you, you shouldn't treat her right. She should be treated like a kind of garbage. It's not right. So it's because of the atrocities, you know, the, 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 the evil thoughts of the heart. And because a lot of people are not walking in the light, because the word of God makes us to understand that if we walk in the light, then we will not do what? We will not commit the sins, you know, of the dark. Because if we walk in the light, we will never walk in the dark. That's what the scripture makes us to understand. He says, first he says, the Lord did what he regretted that he had made human beings on the earth. And his heart was what deeply troubled. So the Lord said, I will wipe from the face of the earth the human race I have created, and with them the animals, the birds, and the creatures that move along the ground. For I regret that I have made them. God regretted making man because of how evil the heart of man was then. And today we are seeing the same thing. The heart of man is so wicked and evil because Everything we see happening in our world today, it all comes from within. Because the devil has taken possession of the hearts of men and has sown the seed of discord, the seed of hatred, the seed of, of, of evil into their hearts, you know, making them to do that which they ought not to do. That's what the Bible says. So I want us to quickly go also to the book of John. Let's see what the book of John says. I'll just quickly go to the book of John. Um, John chapter 8 from verse 12. Let's see what it says. Okay, John 8 verse Okay, he says, when Jesus spoke again to the people, he said, I am the light of the world and whoever follows me will never do what? Walk in darkness. Jesus said this to the people when he was teaching the people. He said to them, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not do what? Will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. In other words, if you are in Christ Jesus, you will never walk in darkness. You will have what? The light of life. In other words, you will have the light to shine throughout your entire life. You will have his light to shine throughout your existence here on earth. He says, if you walk with him, he says, if you follow him, you will never, ever walk in the dark. Because when you walk with Christ, what happens? You will walk according to his principles. If you follow him, you will live a life of love because he is love. The nature of God is the nature of love. Like I said, God did not create, you know, a dark-skinned man or a light-skinned man. He created a man. So why the confusion all around the globe today? Why the confusion all, all, all around the place today? In Africa, a whole lot of things are happening. We just came out of the crisis. And all of a sudden, we are hearing about the rapes going on in Africa. Young girls being killed for nothing. Why? Because the church is sleeping. The devil is working so hard. Planting the seed in the hearts of men and, and, and destroying and killing because that's his purpose. And the church is sleeping. Why did I say the church is sleeping? Because the same things happening in the dark 
is happening in the church. A whole lot of things going on in the, in the world. The same things are going on in the church. Why do we have jealousy and envy in the church? Talking from experience. Why are people in the church? You see brother A or brother, brother B progressing and the other brother is not happy. Why don't we you know, rejoice when our brothers or our sisters get blessed by God? Why do we hate on each other? Why do we envy each other in the church? A whole lot of things are going on. And that's why the Bible says judgment must start from the house of God. That is where judgment will start up from. Why? Because in the same church, a whole lot of things that are going on in the dark, the same thing is going on in the house of God. So, this is what the scripture says. It says, if you follow Jesus, you will never walk in the dark. It says you will have his light to shine for the rest of your life. He says, but you will have what the light of life. Because when you have light, you can never walk in the dark. Because when you have the light of God in you, you can never deviate from the path of righteousness. Because if you have the spirit of God in you, you will not gratify the lust of the flesh. Those things that are evil, those things that are not of God. Those things that will not bring glory to God. That's what the Bible says. If you walk according to uh, uh, the principles of Jesus, you will never, ever walk in the dark. That's what the Bible says. So uh, I also want us to quickly go to the book of Ephesians. Let's quickly go, or let's go to Galatians first. Let's see what Galatians 5.16 says. I want us to go to Galatians. Let's see what Galatians 5 from verse Okay, let's go there. Galatians 5, 16, from verse 16. It says, Galatians 5, verse 16, says, I say then, walk what in the spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. In other words, when you walk in the spirit, you will never fulfill the lust of the flesh. It says, for the flesh lust against the spirit. And the spirit was against the flesh. And these are contrary to one another. The flesh and the spirit, they are contrary. They fight against each other. He said, so that you do not do the things that you wish. For you not to do the things that you wish. He says, let's quickly go down. down. He says, now the works of the flesh are what? Evident. Which are what? Adultery, fornication, uncleanliness, um, lewdness, idolatry, um, sorcery, hatred. Look at that. It says hatred, contentious, contentions, jealousy, outburst of wrath, selfish ambitions, dissensions, heresies, envy. Mothers, mothers, as in to mother somebody, say these are the lust of the flesh. These are all sin before God. Say mothers, drunkenness, reveries, and the like of which I tell you beforehand. Just I, just as I also told you in time past, he says that those who practice what such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. It says, people who practice such things, envy, jealousy, murder, drunkenness, fornication, idolatry, as stated in the scriptures. It says in, in the book of Galatians 5, if you read it down from verse 16, it says, anyone who practices these things will not walk, enter into the kingdom, will not inherit the kingdom of God. So, you see, if you walk in the spirit, because walking in the spirit means walking in the light of God. Because when you walk in the spirit, in other words, if, if your spirit is has been, you know, um, joined to that of Christ, if, if you have the spirit of Christ in you, if you have accepted Jesus and you have ac uh, um, received the spirit of, of Christ, the spirit of God, you will not gratify what the lust of the flesh. He said you will not walk according to the flesh. 
because your your flesh wants to do what fulfill the desires of the flesh these things are the what he says they are of the flesh these are things that are done in the flesh because someone who has a spirit of god who has the light of god someone who is following after christ can never walk in the dark and these things are the things of the dark and as long as you are into those things he says what you will never inherit the kingdom of god so look at all the happenings all around the globe today look at all all, all the evil you know being committed all around the globe today is it not because these people have they've sold their conscience out to the devil? Because if you love that sister, you will not kill her. If you love that sister, you will not uh, abuse her. If you love that sister, the Bible says, "Will love your neighbor as yourself." If you love your neighbor as yourself, you'll not be envious of your neighbor. If you love your neighbor as yourself, you will not murder your neighbor with your hands in your pocket by kneeling on on him. You will not murder your neighbor. If you love your neighbor, you will not rape that girl because your neighbor is not just the person that is living with you in your house. Your neighbor is that person outside who you don't even know. So if you love your neighbor as yourself, the way you want to be treated, the way you want people to, to treat you, if you love that person out there that the way you love yourself, then you will not walk in the dark you will not fulfill the desires of the flesh that's what the bible makes us to understand so when we see all the things that are happening today some time ago in the in the united states states i think it was last year i did a video of how shannon Watts what was murdered a, a pregnant woman you know who loved her husband so much and and she was an influencer on instagram and she would come out and talk about how this man meant the whole world to her how this man you know is so kind and so loving and so that no matter she was covering her marriage she was trying to you know cover her home which is understandable somebody might blame her oh she she was only trying to boast or she was only trying to you know to, to show the world she had a perfect home you don't blame her sometimes women do this because they want to save their marriages women do this because they just want to cover the man and there's nothing wrong in covering your home there's nothing wrong in pro trying to protect your home and protect your marriage but that's not enough for that woman, for, for anybody to you know cut the life of someone's child of that shot this same woman with pregnancy was murdered by her own husband murdered her and two two of their kids two children two lovely kids they had together just because he was cheating he was unfaithful he was cheating on his wife and had to mother her why mother her why not go your way why not just go your separate ways instead of you murdering her women go through a lot abuse domestic violence and all that it's not right it's not right. Any man who has the spirit of Christ, any man who loves God, any man who is born of God will not abuse someone's daughter, will not treat someone's daughters like trash or belittle someone's daughter to the extent daughter to the extent of raping her. So why are we seeing all the rapes going on in Nigeria, Nigeria at the moment? They don't just rape them, they rape them and then they, they, they just kill them which is wrong brutality what did these girls do to deserve what has been done to them so i am here today to you know because of time i cannot read all but let's quickly go to ephesians um okay we are okay ephesians 5 verse 15 to 17 let's see what ephesians 5 says ephesians 5 Okay, Ephesians 5 from 15 to 17, it says, See then that your work was circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming what the time. It says, because the days are evil, the days that we are in, they are evil, they are dark, and the days are getting darker. It says, therefore, 17 says, therefore do not be what unwise, but understand what the will of the lord is 
It says, understand what the will of the Lord is. Be wise. Understand the times that we are in, the days that we are in. Just understand that the times are evil, that the days are evil. And do what? Walk with wisdom. It says, walk with wisdom. It's a time for us to embrace Christ more. For those of us who are in the faith, who are serving God in spirit and in truth, hold on to God even much more. A whole lot of things are happening. My heart is broken. Last week, I heard about a young girl also who was murdered. She's a YouTuber um, by the name, um, is it Shane or so? Um, but her YouTube name is uh, Nap Queen. Nap Queen, I think so. Um, the the her real name is Shane or so. You know how she was murdered by her friend. A young man she was about getting married to just murdered her. So a whole lot of things are going on. Just imagine the young life being cut off just like that. The days are evil. Please, parents, educate your children. Teach them at home that we are all one. Teach them that no matter the color, no matter your background, no matter where you come from, we are all creatures of God. We are all created in the image of God and that we are all one in God. Teach them not to discriminate. Teach them not to, you know, be, 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 be racial. Teach them not to hate on anyone, please. Teach them to grow up having the fear of God. Train your children to have the fear of God. Train your children to love God because when a child loves God and has the fear of God, that child will treat someone outside the proper way and treat his or her mates the proper way. And that is the problem we have in our world today. And men, please, who are going about abusing women, murdering women, doing all sorts of things to women, domestic abuse, beating them up and all that, please, Remember, whatsoever a man sows, he shall surely reap. And someday you will stand before God. No woman deserves to be killed that way or to be murdered that way. You rape her and then murder her is not of God. So when I look at all the things going on, I just see the devil walks, walking so hard. And we as the children of God, we need to come out and talk about those things and try as much as possible to make the world to understand that these things are not of god and as long as they are not of god don't be a part of it don't walk in the dark embrace the light and walk in the light and you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh so i am ending this video right now i said i was not going to talk too much but i don't know it has <laughs> taken a long time but all the same i just wanted to voice out how i feel i feel so bad about you know what is happening in our world today no one deserves to be treated like trash no one deserves to be murdered no one deserves you know to be brutalized it's uncalled for i pray that love will win in our societies love will reign in our homes in our churches in our government in our schools Love will prevail, that love will prevail and reign in our societies before the coming of the Lord Jesus. God bless you all. I am so tired today um, because I just came in not quite long from work, but I said I was going to put out this video. I was going to upload this video. May the good Lord bless you and may the good Lord cause you who is watching me right now to walk in wisdom, knowledge, knowing the times that we are in and you know, stay um, out of trouble, refuse to do the things that will not bring glory to God, and walk in the principles laid down for us by our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Because someday we will see him again. He's coming back again. It doesn't matter who believes it or not. The truth remains that he's coming back again for the saints in, Christ, in him. God bless you all and I love you. And please, let the hate trace stop. Let the, the, the racism stop. Let the colorism, the discrimination, the brutalization and all that going on all around the world, the domestic violence, the abuse, 
let it stop enough is enough god bless you all and i love you and remember love always wins we are all one in christ jesus we are all one in god god bless you